Moscow, we've been here for a few days now and everywhere we've gone from the stadiums to the streets, through the airports, it has been Mexicans everywhere. Second most ticket sales coming out of the US, many of which are Mexican fans. Six most ticket sales coming out of Mexico and it's starting to create a crazy party atmosphere and it's only going to get better. And guess what, 2026, the World Cup is coming back to North America. World Cup is not the only piece of business happening here in Russia. There's also the FIFA Congress, which is deciding the 2026 World Cup, and it's down to two options, Morocco or the United bid, which is between US, Mexico, and Canada. I've been invited to CNN to talk about the bid result, uh, so we're heading there now. The member associations of Canada, Mexico, and USA have been selected by the FIFA Congress to host the 2026 FIFA World Cup. It's, it's an incredible opportunity. It's an incredible opportunity for uh, North America. Obviously, Mexico has a huge fan base, a passionate fan base in Canada. But in the U.S., who's always sort of felt uh, like we're behind the other nations, a, a true chance to step up over the next eight years and show what kind of footballing nation. And also just see how, how powerful football can be or soccer can be uh, for three nations that currently have some turmoil. Seems like there's Mexicans everywhere since we've gotten here. It seems yeah. like the most supported group so far, yeah. or one of the teams we've seen so far. Have you, have you experienced the same? There are 40,000 Mexicans here, and you know it just feels like home. You know, you, you walk uh, towards the Red Square, and you see a lot of Mexican flags, a lot of wrestling and masks. And yeah, it's awesome. You know, you feel like home. We emptied out the bars here from alcohol in the next few, like, few days, so that tells you a lot of how Mexico loves to party and loves the game you know and, and and you know that feeling of all of us being in one place show their love and their passion and and the enthusiasm for the team that is like no matter where we go man there's there's a following when you found out it was going to be russia when you when mexico had qualified or at any point in the process did you did you think maybe i shouldn't go is this the right place were you confused about what to expect here and the people or or were you dead set on on, on coming no matter what well if i'm being honest uh yeah i hesitated a little bit you know the media doesn't help uh, with the impressions you get from Russia, from Russia and the Russian people. But you know, it's a workout. You have to be here. It doesn't matter if in 2022 20, it's hosted in the moon. We'll go there, you know. Yeah. It's, a, it's a party and uh, you just have to be here. And so far, you know, it's all fake news, you know. Uh, everything's great. The Russians are very friendly people and uh, the city is beautiful. If you have the chance to go to a World Cup, you have to do it. Uh, I mean, how important do you then think the, 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 the World Cup, the united bid of the World Cup is to kind of changing the narrative of some of the kind of old school thinking that happens in, in North America? I mean, the great, crazy and awesome thing about this, the World Cup in general is it brings close to billions of people to one place, watching one game, all these different type of people, their different backgrounds, their different way of thinking, different jobs, different logistics, you know, they all come to enjoy one beautiful game. And if that can't break down barriers, if that can't move the world, then nothing can. to expect against Mexico. There's no era penal, the fifth game, playing against the World Cup champions. Can they even live up to the expectation of their crazy fans?
Mexico has been dominant in this game. It looks like the home team, both in the crowd and on the field.